Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here with another tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to discuss how to do some crossfading techniques in Thor. Uh, so let's start off by creating a Thor. And we have an initialized patch here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to go through is how to crossfade your oscillators. So over here we have an analog oscillator. It sounds kind of like that. And now let's open up a new oscillator. Let's get something that sounds totally different. Um, let's see. Hang on a sec. All right. Get a lot of cool sounds out of this one. Okay, so that sounds completely different here. And let's go back to listening to what one sounds like. And let's okay, let's raise that up. Okay, so we've got that one. And we've got that one. The nice thing about crossfading oscillators in Thor is if you set both of them up to go through the same filter, um, what they're going to do is actually both of these oscillators aren't going directly to the filter. They're first going through this mixer here and then into the filter. So you can easily crossfade them right here using this mixer knob. So if you have it set all the way down, it's going to you're going to hear oscillator one only. And if you set it all the way up, you hear oscillator two only. So if you have it set to the middle, which is what it is by default, you hear both of them at the same time. Okay, so that's a nice way that you can crossfade. Okay, and if you want to set this up on a knob up here, let's just delete these out. The easiest way to do that is to go down here and use your modifier, your rotary one, set it, set the amount to 100, and set the destination to the mixer one two balance and then set the balance all the way down to zero or well it's set to listen to the, only the first oscillator and then as you move it up it's gonna it's gonna flip between oscillator one and oscillator two so that's a nice way that you can uh, crossfade between two oscillators in Thor hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and um, for an added bonus what I'll do is I'll show you one other thing since we have some time here uh, one other thing you can do, instead of uh, setting up rotary 1 to um, adjust the 1 2 balance, let's take our LFO 2 and have that affect the oscillator balance. Let's set the mixer knob to 64 in the middle. And now this LFO is going to wobble it back and forth between the two oscillators. <laughs> tempo sync it. And then what you can also do is you can still use that rotary and set this up. Use the rotary to scale it. So set it up on rotary 1. Now the amount that it's going to be wobbling back and forth is going to be adjusted by this rotary. So that's just a basic way that you can get some movement in your Thor patches. I um, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I'm Rob, and I will be back with more tutorials at reason101.net. Thanks for watching.